Hi everyone, it's John and Lynn here again and uh, we've got an interesting episode for you I think and um, what I'm going to do is take you down an apiary down the road that I filmed last on my last video where the sun had melted um, the fra outer frame on the plastic nuke box and I would like to show you the results now whether or not it damaged any of the bees uh, actually it didn't but I want to show you and um, I'm also going to boost the nuke box with some cat brood from another hive. So we'll go down there in a minute and we'll have a little look together. It's going to be very interesting. And uh, it's the 2nd of July and we've got a lot of honey for sale at the door and it's been very good, hasn't it? Lee? Yeah, it's been nice to have the sign up and uh, it's just to, you really appreciate it then when you get some honey from the bees and they work so hard and John works hard trying to get the honey as well. So. Uh, it's a little bit of pleasure when someone comes and taps at your door. Yeah, it is. We've had so many people knocking, it's been great. And uh, they really appreciate the lovely honey. Uh, we've got some quite sad news to tell you, is that um, Lynn won't be able to help me with the beekeeping anymore. Because, uh, sadly, she only ever saw out of one eye, because the other eye was really no good. It, you wouldn't know it looking at her, but she only ever really had one eye to look out of and uh, sadly two weeks ago she lost most of the sight in the second eye and um, she's not fully blind but pr pretty well can't see much at all she's had an operation haven't you Lynn? yeah they've stuck my retina back mm -hmm. but unfortunately the um, stuff they stuck it back with will leave my vision really really very very poor until hopefully in a couple of months time they may well be able to reverse that take the sticky stuff out and then hopefully I might get some better vision back. So it's all hopeful. I'm looking forward to that. It's a little bit strange at the moment. I certainly won't be doing any queen swatting. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> Lynn can't see the hive, not alone <laughs> any queens. So uh, uh, we're going to keep happy though. We're going to keep positive and still enjoy our lives together. Uh, she's going through another operation in two months. So we hope that she might be able to see something again out of the second eye. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll go down to the apiary together now and have a look at the very interesting thing I want to show you. Off we go. Nice to have some water in the garden for the bees. And the birds, of course. Bees and birds. It's one of the daughters of Queen Leia lot. So go in close now and have a look at the pollen going in. See the orange pollen going in then. There's more orange pollen going in now. A little one gone in there. So there's certainly, I would say, must be brood and eggs in there. We've got a bit of pollen going in, but we'll have a look and see what we've got. Put the smoke on the old entrance. Yeah. Have a look what's going on in the super. So this iron hive was queenless for some while, and um, they've diminished in population quite a lot. So we don't expect much in this super. just get one out you can see it's drawn out and it's glistening it's um, got a lot of nectar in it probably three quarters of the way up I'd say that is and it's uh, July it's the second I think the day you can see it's quite they've been bringing it in Storing it, lovely look. Very nice calm bees because they're the genetics and the daughter of Queen Lair lot. So, we put that back now. They all seem to be about the same, all them frames. Each frame I've got a gap between each one, so the gap it allows them to draw out the cone a little bit wider, and you get a nice thick amount of wax and 
honey in there so there you are, they're all new frames in there they've drawn all them out we'll have a look now to see if we've got any eggs and larvae I don't expect to see a great deal of eggs and larvae in here in a great pattern because as I say the queen it hasn't been laying for a long time I think it's about three weeks so we'll have a look what I've heard the train then we've got a, a steam train in the village of Shepherd's Well oh there actually is quite a few bees in here so it looks okay have a look that's that propolis that sticks it's uh, made it jar a little bit then that's not very good Had no bees like that it was stuck down pretty well we'll have a look at Queen Landlock's daughter and see if she's laying okay. What? I caught a swarm the other day and um, when you opened it up they completely attacked me so it, when you've got genetics it's so much better. Good genetics. Let's have a look. I'll move these apart a little bit, these back ones, and go in a little bit further and see what we got. We start off there, that's the fourth one in. Alright, the fourth one in. It looks like they've polished some cells ready for the queen to lay in there. I don't think I've marked the queen in this one actually, thinking of it. I'm pretty sure I haven't. This was a queen, a recent queen. I'm pretty sure I didn't mark it, so we might see her. But you can see that it's drawn out nicely and um, they have polished some cells, but there's no eggs in there. Nice and slow like that, don't want to upset them. This one is... Well we've got honey around the outside there. See how calm they are on the frame. We've got honey around the outside all around here, look. This is the cat worker brood. And all this is um, drone, where they've been drone brood in there. Even if the queen don't want to lay drone brood, she ends up laying in them drone brood because they're bigger than the other cells. So they just automatically lay an unfertilized egg in it. So if you don't want a lot of drones in the hive, you can swap these out. But, you know, it all looks all right. This side is a bit of a better pattern. Better pattern on that side. We'll have a look, see if we see the queen. I might do. Oh, it's, it's a queen, I have marked it as well. It's just here, look. Yeah. You can see she's just going round, look, with a white dot. A very, very pretty queen, that is. I, I can see it's young, just by the, you know, condition of it. So young and pretty. It's a lovely queen, look at that. And it's eggs all the way down here. This is a cone they've made themselves here. 
So they've made all that themselves, this comb here. And there's the queen, lovely. And there's eggs, loads of eggs in there. And that's Queen Landlock's daughter. And look at the genetics in that. Can you see how nice they are? And now she's laying eggs, loads of eggs. Where these have emerged here, you can see they've all emerged and the queen has laid eggs in them. So these are about to emerge, these here that are capped, and then she's relayed. The pattern will get better. Mm -hmm. This whole frame here, every single cell has got larvae and eggs in there, the whole of that. So that's going to be uh, a lot of resources coming in there, a lot of bees coming. We'll have a look in this one. Right, look. This, if the camera can pick that up, I'll bet it can't. That is absolutely full of eggs. If I can go in about like that, I don't know. But the eggs are in every single cell. They're not, they haven't hatched the eggs, they're just eggs. And they're beautiful. And that whole frame is full of them. That's an ideal frame, that is. Uh, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have a look at this one. So I'm hoping, because there's enough food uh, resources in here, I'm hoping to take a frame of capped um, brood, which this is all capped. Look, can you see that is capped brood? Beautiful capped brood. And I'm going to take that for a little nuke I've got to boost the nuke so that um, we're going to get, because the queen's not on here because we know she's back here, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna have a little bit of spray now. <laughs> a little bit of smoke, just to keep them calm because they won't like this. Because I've got a shake because I haven't got my brush with me. At least I'll try and get a bit of grass, maybe. Could get a bit of glass. I might be able to get them off with this grass, look. I'll try it. It's not very successful. I'll try shaking instead, I think it's better. Yeah, that's better. Now I can put that into the, a nuke I've got to boost the numbers. I'll show you in a minute. That's lovely, look. Very nice that. Oh yeah, so I'll put a, I'll put a frame in there. Because this is some pollen here. That's a pollen frame here. So a new frame there, they'll draw that out quite quickly. So push this over now. Push up nice and tight. Put the old dummy ball back. Put this queen excluder back, making sure we don't trap any of them bees. There we are. Now I want to put the super back. We don't want them bees on edge. Or that one. Get that one in. Queen Landlock's daughter 
and uh, laying very well but there was quite a few bees in here I suppose to help on the way where a nuke there's not so much bees in, in a nuke so they're always slower in a nuke compared to a hive with loads of bees because the queen lays the queen lays uh, the amount of eggs that the colony can sustain so if there's only a few bees you only get a few eggs so that's why you really it's good to boost the numbers so I'm just going to show you how I'm going to boost the numbers in the nuke now remember I showed you this nuke in the last episode but it got too hot in the sun and I put these I put these roofing slates on there to keep the sun off the plastic nuke and uh, the sun had got to the side here so it's a lesson for me and for anyone watching these plastic nukes don't whatever you do don't have them in the sun because the sun hit that and melted one frame so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what it's like now so that frame was melted and I replaced it with a new frame and next to it was a complete a complete frame of cat brood so we'll look now in here to see what it's like <gasps> look at the amount of bees there's actually quite a few this is ready to go this one I'm still going to put the other frame in there we are look they're drawing that out can you see they're starting to draw it out it's not drawn out that side but look that's that new frame I put in on the last video there's no queen on there so I'll leave it there a minute and we'll have a little look in now this one was full, fully capped brood on this one and this was near the warm sun so we see here now every single one of them has hatched out so they was all okay even though they got warm and um, I'm just going to tell you whether they've got eggs in there yep they've got eggs in there not a lot of eggs but eggs oh here's the queen actually look here's Queen Laylock's daughter a lovely black towel on her and she's running around quite quick quite lively there's nothing wrong with her so you know that's great that's a good look look how nice that queen is there Queen Laylock's daughter running around there I'm going to put her away now we'll put her back like that right so we know where she is and now I'm going to put this this frame that's capped in there there we are I'll shake them bees off there into there Now we know this hive is ready to go now. You know there's going to be more than enough bees in there now. That's going to be great. Pop that into a full size hive now this in the next sort of few days and that is going to be brilliant. So we cover it up again so the sun it protects it. beautiful isn't it here we are that really is a lovely nuke that is loads of resources in there and uh, so whoever gets that uh, one of my lovely subscribers is coming to collect it quite some distance so I'll let him know that this is ready now when he can come and uh, 
he can pop that in a nice hive and you've got really good genetics from Queen Landlock's daughter. Just shows you what I say, what genetics and breeding does. This swarm I caught a few days back, well, three weeks now, about three weeks I think it was, or two weeks, they, were, they was only in a nuke box and they was attacking me. They was terrible. They wanted to kill me. So this is what you want. You don't want the other sort. Makes beekeeping terrible. So <laughs> here we are then. Hope that's been informative to somebody. What a beautiful day it is here in Shepherdswell in July the 2nd. Lovely. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next episode. Happy beekeeping to everyone. Don't give up. Keep going. Everything will be all right. Oh, oh, by the way, I'm giving, selling me honey at the door. I've had loads of people knocking, can I have more honey? Honey, honey, they love it. Honey is lovely, isn't it? Good for us, full of nectar, and, uh, full of pollen, good for our health. Um, keep eating the honey, I eat it every morning. <laughs> See ya, bye-bye everyone. Thanks for watching. Great, what a life, what a life we got.